I wanted to take an opportunity to show you how Mud Blaster works and especially how easy it is to use. Uh, we want to save you time so you can get back out there doing what you want to do, right? So all we're going to do is we're going to foam this on, uh, maybe pre-treat, I'll show you that as well. Foam it on, leave it to sit and dwell and do its work and then rinse it off. Then you can go ahead and do your drying, dressing and all the other things you do as part of your detailing for the exterior of your vehicle. Uh, in order to make things even easier, we actually do include this bottle as part of your pressure washer foam camming kit, but you don't need it for this particular use. We've made it so you can essentially just take the bottle cap off. This will fit directly inside the bottle and screw directly on. So once that's screwed on, you can actually just shoot it directly from this bottle. These pressure washer uh, foam cannons actually have an adjustment knob at the top. I've got it turned pretty well down. You can adjust it to use more product if you want, get more foam, that kind of thing. But you'll see even at the lowest setting, it actually does foam quite a bit. I've already done that half of the vehicle. So I'm gonna go ahead and show to do this side of the Jeep Grand Cherokee. We'll see how it works. Essentially, all you have to do is plug this into the end of your pressure washer and go to town. Now this is gonna be kind of loud. So I'll probably put some montage music back behind this. Uh, but I'm going to go ahead and hook this up and get that going. Now, we do live in the country, so we accumulate quite a few bugs on the front, especially this time of year when it's summer. Uh, so I want to pre-treat that. So I've gone and put some Mud Blaster in this pump sprayer. You can use a hand sprayer if you want, but this makes it pretty convenient. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and just shoot that on. It does not foam a ton with these kind of pump sprayers, but it is doing its work. I'm going to spray the wheels. I'm going to spray the front. And I'm gonna spray the uh, rock sliders because they have some mud on them as well. That just gives a little bit more oomph to the cleaning power of Mud Blaster. But I'll show you how this works, how it foams. We'll watch it dwell and then I'll rinse it off and we'll go from there. All right, pre-treating's done. I'm gonna fire up this pressure washer and we'll get going. All right, oh, that's loud. Got it all foamed, so as you can see, it gets very foamy. It is now doing its work, pulling off the dirt. Actually, I have some dirt coming off. I'm gonna get a shot of that. You can actually see how it's pulled the dirt off the wheels. It's working on these bugs. They stick pretty good. I bet your local barista would love that much foam. What's funny is when you actually look at the mud and how it's sitting on top of the foam, how the foam has pulled that off, it kind of looks like a latte. I don't think I'd want to drink it though. So we're just going to give it a few minutes to do its job. Uh, I'm probably going to let it sit on for just maybe four to five, maybe six minutes. I want to give it an opportunity to get really clean. Uh, and make sure it gets as much of that dirt and grime off as possible. So we'll go ahead and let it watch and we'll let it drip off and we'll go from there. While we're letting that sit and do its job, uh, you may have noticed that I just sprayed it directly on the paint. I actually did not pre-wash with the pressure washer. Now, if it was super, super dirty, super muddy or whatever, I may wanna knock those big chunks off uh, with the pressure washer uh, before I got started. But in this case, it's just been on dirt roads and all that and a little bit of mud as we went back uh, in the back country to go hiking. But for the most part, I just prefer just to throw it right on top uh, of a dry vehicle. It gives it opportunity to work directly on the dirt and grime and pull that off. All right, so it's had plenty of time to dwell, actually a little bit longer than it probably needs, but it is sitting in the sun, which is not really a problem. You can do this in direct sun if you need to. I don't typically like to set it off and let it bake like this, but it's a good test, right? I actually ended up having to shoot a few more videos, so I let it sit for probably 10 minutes or so, maybe even a little bit longer. So we're gonna go ahead and rinse it off. I've swapped out to my normal pressure washer end, and we're gonna rinse it off, get it pressure washed, and then see how it did.
All right, so it's all completely rinsed off and it actually looks really good. I spent a little bit of extra time in some different areas uh, with the press rusher, just making sure it's fully off. But one of the things I did actually notice, and this is pretty cool, is that typically these bugs on these things are super hard to get off. So I have to spend forever pressure washing it because I don't really want to do a bunch of scrubbing on that. But what I find was been when the mud blaster was able to dwell into that, it made them so much easier to come off. It does take a little bit of effort with the pressure washer, but not that great. Uh, same thing around the mirrors and the wheels and everything just came completely off really quickly on uh, the rock sliders and everything else on this side. So let's take a look. So this is the front. Uh, again, I've not scrubbed at all. Pretty much bug free at this point. Wheels are looking good. You can still see some of my uh, shield sealer that I've got on. This vehicle is actually not ceramic coated with armor, but it will be. So clearly this thing is still wet. So I'm gonna grab my Hero big drying towel, get things dried up. But as you can see, it's pretty darn clean. So I've only rinsed this one side. I'll rinse the rest of it and I'm gonna go ahead and get my Hero drying towel out, also available at roadrestore.com, uh, and make quick work of drying this off. And then we'll take a look at kind of the finished product. Got my 20 by 40 Hero drying towel, also available, ruggedrestore.com. All right, Hero towel made pretty quick work out of drying it, and it's not very humid today. We're in Montana, and it stays pretty dry all the time. So got it dried off and uh, there was, you know, a couple of areas where uh, there was a little bit of residue left, but as soon as I wiped it with the towel, it was gone, super easy to use. So let's take a look at the paint. And by the way, we don't just do Jeeps and other off-road vehicles. You'll see me wash this 65 Cobra replica from Factory 5, my personal hot rod, uh, in another vehicle. So check that out. It'll also do lawn uh, mowers, tractors. We got that. We got RVs. We're going to be washing them all. We're going to show you how to do it. So stick around. Follow us on uh, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, Rugged Restore, Rugged Restore Off-Road. Uh, and come back here. Go to YouTube as well, go to ruggedrestore.com and get your mud blaster right now.